What is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your third TypeScript tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to set up TypeScript on Windows real quick with Sublime Text and Node Package Manager. So first things first you'll need Node to work with this and if you haven't installed Node yet just go to nodejs.org and it will show you the latest stable release which it has. So currently it has 5.6 stable and just click here and download the setup and once you're done you'll get something like this so this is the setup which you'll get just double click on it and install it by next next and i've already done that so i'll just cancel this out and make sure you pause the video in between if you are just having a, some time to do the steps because most of the things i have done so i'll be just skipping over those but i'll be showing you how to do that so next thing you have to do is open your cmd command prompt and right here just write npm to check if node package manager in is installed so as you can see it looks installed now what you need to do is write npm install typescript g now make sure you add exactly the same thing npm install typescript and dash g so that it installs typescript in the global scope so once you have done that just hit enter again and I'm not gonna show you what happens next because I've already installed this TypeScript so I'm just gonna quit here yep and once you have installed this it might take a minute or two the next thing you need to do is to configure sublime text with your TypeScript now to do that just open your open up your browser go to this uh, packagecontrol.io and you can get this link by googling this TypeScript plugin for Sublime Text. Now what you need to do next is that just copy this path right here cd slash uh, the columns app data Sublime Text 3 packages and go to run. Now you can get to run by either just going to start and typing run or hitting the win key and R. Now paste this right here this thing and click on OK. Now once you are in this folder you should probably just see only these three folders. I am seeing the fourth one as well because I have already installed TypeScript plugin. So you should see only these three. And once you are here just right click anywhere and click on this git bash here. And yes to get git bash what, it, what you need to do is just go to google and write git for windows and this is the URL which you'll get git dash for dash windows dot github dot io and just go here and I might have some problems with internet connectivity right now I guess no okay so it was working but Alright, so once this page opens, just download this git and what we need is the git bash right there. So just download and install it. It's simple to do just like node. So once you are done, go back to your directory, right click and you'll see this option git bash here and just open it. Now the next thing you need to do is just copy this line, the second one, right click, copy, go to your folder again or git. I have S2 open right there. Right click and paste again. Now hit enter. And as you can see, it shows me this that destination path TypeScript already exists because I've already installed that. But for you, it will show a bunch of installation lines or something like that. So once you're done with that, to check if your TypeScript is perfectly installed or not, just go to your CMD again and write TSC. If you see something like this on writing TSC, then your TypeScript is installed in your computer. And for Sublime, just go to your Sublime text, preferences, packet settings, and you should see this TypeScript right there. So if you see that as well, that means your TypeScript is set up right. So that's all for this one. And in the next one, I'll be showing you how to set up TypeScript a bit better for the development purposes so that's how you just basically merge all the files together and get going so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe